What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Microwave Madness. Today we're on episode 3 and for episode 3 what we've got as you've seen from title is a light bulb. So yeah we've got this light bulb. I don't really know what's going to happen to this light bulb. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know if it's going to just pop set on fire or what, I don't know, but there's metal, glass, metal inside, it might make it light up, I don't know, so that's what we're here to find out, we're going to put it in and just find out what happens. Before we get going, don't try this at home, I know I've said it every video, but I've got to make sure you don't try it yourselves, just in case all happens, you don't want to get hurt, we don't want you getting hurt, I don't know what I've just said a minute ago, but we don't want you getting hurt. So yeah, I'll put this in, and I've got what I've done, got the cable from the back, which is connected to an extension cable which goes up and out the door and attached to the extension cable is a switch so that way I can stay outside I've got my phone connected to this camera that's looking into the back of the microwave so I can see what's going off from out there in a safe place and then I can turn it off from out there and on from out there so I don't have to be in here just in case I decide it wants to pop, explode, blow out, set on fire, whatever I can turn it off from there without having to come up inside and press this button. So all that being said, let's get into the video and put this inside microwave. I'm going to set it for a minute, so I can set that now because it's not turned on at the switch. So I can set that for a minute and I can go outside, turn the switch on and it'll start. So I'm going to put this in. So as you can see, I'm looking at it on my phone so I can see inside microwave. So I'm going to get my gloves, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to press switch and then uh, we'll see what happens. So in three, two, one. So as you can see that uh, switch worked well, I'm nowhere near it, it's in there now and it's not turned on so I know it should be happening. But that one, that one interesting, it nearly uh, shot off outside the microwave, it did like a little jet, I'm guessing it burnt an oil in it and then pressure inside light bulbs greater than outside, so it shot it forward a little bit, but we'll get it out, it stinks, whoa, so it's broken it obviously, <laughs> it smells that. <coughs> I don't know what's in a light bulb, I don't know if I should be breathing it in, but that's why I try it and you don't. But yeah, that's that's light bulb, it's melted the glass, both sides, and one of them holes is where it obviously, alright, one of them holes is where the air shot out and pushed um, the light bulb forward. So that's the light bulb, I didn't expect the glass to melt inside a microwave, but it has, but I think they're only thin. Yeah, they're only th they're only thin light bulbs, aren't they? So shouldn't be too hard to melt one of them. To be honest, I expected uh, the metal to melt a bit, but that didn't really do all. There's no element in it anymore. That's just completely melted, and it's got a little ball on end look where it's melted. So that's what happens when you put a um, a light bulb in a microwave. So now you know, so you don't have to try it. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you comment down below what you want to see me put in microwave next because I'm going to be doing a lot of these and I'm going to need your help thinking of ideas of what to put in so yeah make sure you uh, comment down below what you want to see put in microwave and who knows it could be in the next video so thanks for watching guys don't forget leave a like and subscribe see you later